Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got an OP video for you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is talk about the most underrated brawler within Brawl Stars. So when you talk about OP brawlers in Brawl Stars, you usually think of brawlers such as B, Carl, Daryl, Gene, uh, Poco, um, even Bull, M's, 8-Bit, you know, BB, Rosa, a lot of brawlers like this, but nobody really talks about Sandy. Now Sandy used to be the best brawler in the game by a landslide. She got a couple or... I forgot if it's a boy or a girl, but Sandy got a couple a uh, couple nerfs recently and people just haven't been using her as much, but he's actually really, really, really good in the current meta. So we're just going to show some games. We're going to show how to be annoying with Sandy. And this is definitely the most underrated brawler in the game. So that being said, let's hop into games and let's show you guys exactly how OP Sandy is. Okay, so here we go into the first game. We're going to be going up against a Spike, a Brock, and a uh, Gene. So obviously a really good comp here. So Sandy, obviously really, really good. We're going to be able to get a kill with Feli over there. Uh, we're going to be moving towards the Spike. We do three-shot Spike, so obviously going on lane with a Spike is a good idea. Going to put the ball over there and give it to the Gene. So it does take six shots to charge Super, unfortunately, but that is totally fine because the Super is overpowered. It lasts a very long time, and usually after you use it, you're usually four or five uh, shots of the way to your next super so it really doesn't matter we're gonna put our super down right over here and we're using the damage star power and the good thing about sandy unfortunately for free to play players it is a legendary but the good thing about sandy is actually you don't need her star power or his star power for the brawler to be that useful it's actually just useful without the star power so that's a really really good plus to sandy uh we're just gonna chill behind this wall for now get one shot over there we're gonna go down unfortunately put ourselves in that little corridor over there and brock was able to get an easy kill Melly's going to pass the ball up belly should be putting that one in the net he is going to be able to and it's one to nothing for us so we're just going to put our super raid off spawn over here and they're going to have no clue where we are obviously we do three three shot the spike so we're going to get a kill over there with Felly. going to sneak up over here on this gene there is a brock behind us going to get a shot off brock is going for the super not going to be able to get it we're going to be able to pick up the kill so super is going to be used over here going to sneak over there to the side um we're pretty snuck over here we're going to be able to get three shots off this gene might pull us not sure we're three shots till super one two not able to hit the third we're going to go down over here to that gene but we are one shot to super so we are looking pretty good so far Billy's going to move back and use a super. As soon as I use super, we get a really, really, really big advantage, as you guys would imagine, uh, when you use a Sandy super. One of the best supers in the game, and it's not even the most OP part about the brawler. So we're going to put this down over here, and, and you know, we're just all invisible. Doing pretty well so far, so we're going to get a lot of shots and a lot of damage off over there. One more shot, and I would have been able to get the double kill, but it looks like we're going to be in a pretty good position for the rest of this game. This gene doesn't know Feli is going to be right over there, so we're fine. Mally's just going to use her super uh, in the back over there for fun, and Feli's going to go up and score that goal, and that is going to end the first game. So it wasn't the greatest case showing Sandy, but uh, we did pretty good job. Sandy does definitely do amazing against tanks as you can just rotate super over and over and over and over. So it's up to the next game. Hopefully we face some more tanks. Let's get into it and let's see if we can show you guys exactly how OP Sandy is. Okay, so here we go into the next game. We're going to be going up against Mortis, Rico, and uh, Spike. So a decent comp for Sandy. Okay, I guess. Uh, we're going to be able to get a kill on the AFK at the start of the game. Mally's going to be able to pick up that kill over there, pass it right up to us, and we should be able to get this goal. We're going to do a little bit of BM and put that one in the net. So really quick one to nothing for us. Definitely don't be AFK at the start of games. Uh, a lot of you randoms do that. Uh, that's a good way to not lose games. So we're almost at our super two shots away from it right now. Their comp is pretty good. Sandy doesn't do great against either of these three brawlers. Uh, Spike, I guess he does. she does pretty good against, but not necessarily. Definitely prefer to face a tank. So we're able to pick up the kill over there gonna pass the ball up Feli's almost gonna get taken out over there and we're gonna be able to get the kill and I'm just not gonna pick up the ball and stay invisible uh, I'm gonna get some shots off over here one two almost the third Feli's gonna try and go for the goal not able to get it we don't have any shots so we're not able to give it to Mali luckily though the turret does go off and it's able to get the kill and Mali is gonna put that ball in the net so that's gonna be a really quick game but that one was pretty easy since um, that team wasn't you know going too crazy we're able to get the star player. Let's hop into the next game and continue showcasing Sandy's abilities. 
Okay, so here we go into the next game, and we're gonna be go, and we're gonna be facing two tanks over here. So we're gonna be able to display Sandy a little bit more. So although Sandy doesn't do a great amount of damage, uh, one thing that she does do is pierce shots. So your shots get a really good amount of value, and you don't have to be close to your opponent at all. So it was kind of a useless super over there. We didn't really need it. Hopefully I can get charge off on that Jesse over there. But anyways, we're going to be able to get the first goal. And you guys saw how fast we're able to get our super because tanks are very aggressive, have a ton of HP. So obviously they're just going to be moving up against you very aggressively. We're able to take out the, uh, the Daryl over there. And we're just going to use our super. So we're going to have to try and get the save over here. You need two shots to kill the Jesse. This is not looking very good. We get our shots. We're able to clear the ball. Good save over there. We kept that common collected. Uh, Daryl has the ball. It's not looking too good for us. Good shots over there by Mally and Feli, able to secure us the save. And we should be able just to charge our super by walking up right over here. We're able to get our super. We're going to put it down right over here. When you have the first star power, you should use your turret more aggressively. And when you have the set, or not your turret, sorry, your uh, super. And when you're using second star power, which is healing winds, you should put it a little bit further back in your spawn since you're using it as a heal. But we're going to go aggro with the first star power. So we're going to win that game as well. You guys saw how OP it was against tanks. Let's hop into the next game. And let's continue showing you guys Sandy. So here we go into our last Brawl Ball game. We're going to be going up against Daryl, Rico, and Jesse. So a little bit of a, you know, like a pretty balanced comp over here. So what we're going to be doing is going really aggro at the start. Because we know we can auto-aim that Jesse. Rico's going to get a few taps. So we're going to move back over here. But we're halfway to our super, which is the most dominant super in this game. Um, with the six brawlers that are being played. So that's pretty good. Uh, three shots left to get it. Gonna get two over, or one over there, my bad. Um, and things are looking pretty good. One shot until super. There we go, we're able to get it. We're gonna put it into an aggressive location so that they can't regen. And we should be able to get close to our super back by the end of this super. Currently, we have four out of the five, or four out of the five, or now five out of the six hits that we need. There we go. We're gonna able. We're gonna be able to get the first goal over there in just one hit until we can get our super. So there we go. Super again. Gonna put it in an aggressive location and go for the kill on that Jesse. We're gonna be able to get it. I'm gonna pass the ball over to Feli over here. Feli is gonna be able to walk up and get that goal easily, and that is going to be the end of our last brawl ball game. So. Brawl Ball obviously is very close quarters, so we wanted to show you guys how good Sandy was in that. But something that I realized is Bounty is also out, Canal Grande, which is a very long range map. And I thought, why not show you guys how good Sandy is also on long range if used properly. So let's hop into one Bounty game and show you guys how good Sandy is there as well. Okay, so here we go into the game. We're going to be facing Pam, Daryl, and Penny. So Pam's a little bit of an interesting pick on this map, but Penny and Daryl are definitely two favorites that you see on this map a lot. So we're going to be moving up this side over here. It looks like we got Daryl on our lane, which should be fine. A tap from Mally over here should be able to save us. Good tap over there. We're going to be able to get two. Mally's going to steal that one. Um, Mally's looking like he's going to go down, but that's fine. We're going to be able to pick up a kill. And now we have our super. So we're just going to move, put our super right in the middle um, and hit them with it. We're going to move back over here. Just three shots to kill this Daryl. Oh, we're going to go down, but Mally's going to be able to pick up that kill. And we're almost at our super again. So you're able to really easily cycle supers on Bounty, especially on this map. So it looks like Mally's going to break the wall over here. Interesting roll by the Daryl. It's not going to do anything. We're able to get two taps over there. And we're going to use our super like that. Uh, and try and sneak and get some kills over here. We're going to get two good hits. Um, there we go. Really good value over there. And we're just going to throw our super into the corner and try not to let this penny re uh, regen. Going to get two hits very easily and be able to pick up a bunch of stars right like that. Going to be able to get hits over here on this Daryl. So Sandy, you guys can see, we're really just running through them at this point. Going to get some shots uh, right over there. And there we go. We got seven stars at the moment. Things are looking really, really good. Again, put this in the middle. We're going to do the same thing to this penny. So we're going to get some shots off on it. Oh, we might actually go down, but I don't think so. It's going to chill right over here. Waiting for the Sandy to move forward. Going to be able to pick up the kill on the Sandy. Using our super again. We know the Daryl is somewhere around here. Going to get a tap over there. Almost got the kill. But as you guys can see, we've just absolutely dominated this game. It hasn't really even been close for a second. Uh, we've had seven stars for majority of this game 
and oh, we're not able to end that way but it doesn't matter because we absolutely destroyed them so that is going to be the video i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys agree that sandy is the most under uh underrated brawler in the game if not put down in the comment section below what you guys think is most underrated brawler in the game but that's going to be it for today i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys again tomorrow peace